Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Arcane, Season 1, Episode 4. So, I just got done watching Episode 3, which is why I'm in the same exact outfit. I decided to record a second episode, although I almost didn't want to after that crazy, crazy episode we had. I, like, I just... I almost felt like I needed a breather, but I do want to try to watch another one tonight. Um, but it was, it was crazy. We lost Vander, who was an awesome character... Even Clogger and uh, Milo. Milo was a little edgy sometimes, but but Clogger was awesome. And they obviously didn't deserve to die at such a young age. Uh, we had our, our split between Powder and Vi happen. And, uh, and now it seems like Silco is going to raise Powder to be this, you know, as another fuck you to Vander, raise Powder to be this you know, potentially evil person to fight Vi in the future, I imagine. So, it's gonna be crazy. We also had a bit of, uh, of Jace and Victor doing their, their Hextech stuff and seeming to stabilize it, so, you know, it's kind of funny. Last episode, everything went relatively okay for Vander and the gang, but went terribly for Jace, and then on epi or episode two, I should say, that, that took place. And then episode three, everything went to shit for Vander and the gang, and then everything kind of went good for Jace, you know? But anyway, let's get started with this episode. I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. Alright, we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, now. N for Netflix. Yes, you shimmy those discs in Netflix series. <clears throat> Heimerdinger. Okay. Two hundred years old. <clears throat> hey, he's older. Are we already time skipped? No. Oh. Hmm. Hex gates. Damn. Are they like teleport gates between like towns or something? Oh, that's a cool shot. Crazy. So it is, I think it is some kind of warping, huh? <clears throat> Damn. So they've just stabilized a way to do that shit. That's crazy. Awesome. All right. Time for the opening again. Hmm. 
Such a good song. I like that visual too. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. Ah, so he's still following the people in Piltover. That's cool. That is awesome, actually. Holy shit. I almost wish we knew Mana Progress. Damn. Is that his mom? Or was that... Or was that Charlotte... Uh, Charlotte? What? Caitlin's... Mom. Huh. Okay, yeah, I think it's... It's Caitlin's mom. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. I kind of what I was going to say before, I don't even know if I started saying it or if I thought it or not, but I almost wish we got to see a little bit more of Piltover's technology prior to this, so that way we knew, like, how much they've advanced, you know? Because I felt like we spent a lot of time in the lanes, and we got, like, a few shots during, like, the, the thieving parts, but... Oh... Uh, these are the bad guys. Shipping mana pass? Oh, uh, so she lived. I saw them carrying her before. She's got, like, magic -y veins, too. She got hit by, like, the part of the magic explosion, didn't she? Did it make her, like, powered or something? I wonder. Firelights. Jeez. What is this? <clears throat> Some thieves. Some cool boards they have. Shimmer, huh? Ah, okay, they're not thieves, they're... They're taking out shipments of Shimmer. So they're doing good work then, seemingly. Destroy it all. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's trademark powder. Is she gonna be down here? Very creepy. Oh, shit. You guys are so fucked. Boom. Man, she's gonna do all kinds of trap shit. What? Jesus. 
Well, I'm pretty sure they're dead. That is some long hair. I don't want an evil powder. They're spilling it, doing their best to destroy it. Oh shit! Oh god, that artwork is crazy. Shit. Is she like, is she like brainwashed? How many years has it been? Oh my God. Jesus, shooting her own people too. She seems like she's like not wanting to do this, right? Hmm. Oh shit. She about to Hulk out? Wait, so what? Vi was just on the ground there, right? What happened to Vi? Vi's dead. Well, he looks exhausted and older. No. Hmm. That looks way more refined. Gemstone. Hit it with a hammer. They exploded before. Sprockets. <laughs> Nice. Ooh. Gauntlets. Who do we know that uses gauntlets? Cool. Damn. <laughs> that little thing. I can't remember what they're called. I know they're in League, but... Whoa. It's like the, uh... It, like, moving like that? I know he's controlling it, but 
I don't know why the the little arm reminds me of the thing from Iron Man, the the arm that Tony has. Oh fuck! Be careful. <laughs> anyway. A decade. Yeah, they're not gonna be happy with that. Yeah, he's right. Jeez, that airship got fucked up. Yet it's still floating, or is it, like, chained down? Somehow. They're not chained, but, like... Maybe it's resting on something underneath. So, Caitlin's investigating. <clears throat> yeah, it seemed like Powder, she's probably going by Jinx now. Um, oh, that's cool. I like that. So he's not there anymore. Did he live, or... Um... It almost seemed like when she saw Vi, it almost seemed like she snapped into her, like, old self again. But then it almost seemed like she, like, like something was blocking her mentally. Like, it almost looked like she didn't understand what she was actually doing in that moment. It almost looked like her body was just reacting. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just read it wrong. Oh, okay, so he's still there. Oh, fucking Marcus. Shit. Club music plays. Thanks, subtitles. <clears throat> so either Marcus just doesn't want her involved and wants to investigate it himself, or he's, like, dirty and doesn't want people investigating too deep. I don't know. We still don't know what happened with Vi being taken. Could he, Could Marcus be running, like, a... A, uh... Why can't I think of what they're called? A vigilante squad. In the background. Like, doing the things that he can't do, maybe. Huh. 
Ah, she's there. I like how the subtitles mark her as Jinx now. Okay, so that wasn't Vi then. Okay, my bad, guys. It, everything was happening so fast when it, like, glimpsed on her. Oh, God. The way she acts is weird. Oh. The same knife. Hmm. Something just seems off about Jinx. I don't know. <clears throat> like, even Savika, which I'm pretty sure is the, the girl's name that was saying it before, is like, she lost her shit, you know? Like... Bunch of different kind of reactions. <laughs> Quite the opposite of what Heimerdinger says. <clears throat> She is very ambitious. Well, <laughs> you just heard two complete opposites. Yeah, she's all kinds of fucked up. Oh my god, she has like puppets or something. Man. Well, she's fucking crazy now. Great. Yeah, Victor is not looking good. Hmm. 
Alright, <laughs> does he? Ah, yes, I know exactly what that says. Of course. I can't help but wonder if that was some symbolism with the with him spilling the coffee over his face, like or dripping down the face on the, his mug. But I can't think of what it could be a symbol of or what kind of meaning it could have. All right. Is something going to interrupt this? Maybe? I don't know why, that ominous shot of, like, the, the airships... Or, I guess that shot of the airships felt ominous, is what I was trying to say. Is he gonna go off book? That one guy. <laughs> oh, he has two speeches. Which does he pick? So tense. So he's holding off. Okay. He managed to turn around a little bit. You can definitely tell there's a little bit of disappointment from people not being able to see it yet, but. But he held off. Wow. Victor seemed a little disappointed with that, too. And they're gonna be disappointed with it. Hmm. I hope that doesn't cause a divide between Victor and Jace. Oh shit. But why? Why does that sound like a recording? Is this... Is this Jinx is doing? What was that thing hanging? Yup. Yup. Oh, fuck. Well, jeez. Just blowing shit up. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, fuck. The gemstone got taken. We haven't had even a glimpse of Vi yet. Damn. Shit. That is crazy. <laughs> Is that enough of an enticement for him to let this go? to think of Jinx. I don't know if I like it or if I don't. I'll talk more about it in discussion.
Yeah, I'm on it now. <laughs> oh. She wants to be out in the world, right? Damn. <clears throat> that sucks, man. So she's just gonna investigate this on her own then, probably, right? Water hold. So if Marcus took Vi, is this a prison? And could this be where Vi is? Locked away for all this time then? Oh, she came to talk to the big guy. I jumped in prison. Jeez. Wait, so who did it? Oh, I'm surprised they didn't kill him. So he couldn't speak. Or, oh my god, it's gonna be Vi. That's why she broke his jaw, because she recognized him. Oh, fuck, she's just punching a wall. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck, that's it? Damn it. Really? Ah, fuck. They saved that till the very end, didn't they? All right. That is it, guys, for episode four. Man. So, obviously the biggest thing I want to talk about for this episode, and I mentioned that I'd talk about it here, is Jinx's personality is all kinds of screwy, right? Like, whenever she's, like, on screen, it's even, like, twitching out and tweaking out, you know? And I, I really love the visuals of it going to her, like, spray-painted, like, monkey kind of, like, weirdly drawn stuff, you know, um, and, like, the flashes and, and chaotic nature of it really kind of, like, does a lot to display the insanity that's going on in her mind, so I'm trying to decide whether I like it or if I dislike it, because I didn't like, I didn't like the idea that she just, like, Vi left her as a kid because she did all this, like, she did this shit where she tried to help but ended up, you know, killing a bunch of her friends and then I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like the idea of her just being, like, evil, you know? Like, every time I, like, before, I guess, before I got to see that she might be, like, crazy, you know, have some, like, mental issues going on, I was thinking, like, okay, well, how is she, as, as a, an older person now, I don't know how old she is, um, but she's older now, she's not a kid now, so she should be able to understand and rationalize how Vi felt when she was younger, now that she's older, right? So how does she justify still being evil, if that's the case, you know? Um, and and I was, like, playing that through my mind, and I was trying to figure out, like, what, what they could do to make that be a bit more, like, likable for me, because I'm I'm a big, like logical kind of person. Like, I like to think things through. I like to view things from other people's perspectives. I like to try not to be biased to my own side of thinking and, and all that. So, so whenever I see, like, 
someone who just completely loses their mind and, like, hates someone without even, like, taking into consideration the other person's feelings, it always, like, rubs me the wrong way, you know? Because because of the way I am and the way I like to try to view every side of an argument and, and try to understand the other sides, you know? Um, but seemingly it's more of a crazy kind of thing rather than her just being, like, unreasonably angry all the time at, at Vi or whatever, you know? Um, but, like... There's just something broke, it's like, so, so, like, because of what happened back then, something just broke in her mind, you know? Like, she has, she has dolls of the people that died because of what she did, you know? And she, she just doesn't seem right, you know? She still seems, like, kind of immature, too, it felt like. Like, it seems like she's, like, a mid to late teens, potentially. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because it's animated and I don't know, um... But, like, I I get this, like, sort of, obviously, childlike attitude from her where she's just kind of, like, she makes everything into, like, a little game, you know? She, the way she, like, clings to Silka kind of... At first, it kind of felt, like, a little sexual in nature, and I got a little weirded out by it, because, like, it felt weird that this guy would have taken in this this girl when she was so young, and, like, if it ended up being a sexual nature kind of thing, even if she is, like, say, 18, you know, at, at this point, it would still feel a little weird, because, like, we didn't get to see when that kind of thing started or whatever, so, like... It felt, it felt a little creepy at first, but then, like, as it went on, I didn't feel so much as, like, a, a sexual connection from the two. It almost felt like a, like, child, you know, holding on to their parent kind of thing, you know, for support. That, that's kind of the vibe that I got, so maybe I'm wrong with that, but that's kind of, like, how I started to feel throughout the episode. And, uh... And I just, I just kept getting these, like, these vibes from her that just felt very immature, you know? So, I like it because it's not just, like, she's irrationally evil for a reason that I don't agree with, you know? But I also, like, the... I guess I can... I think I do like it. I think that's a consensus I'm gonna go with because... I think the the crazy... I'm not always a fan of, like, just crazy, you know? Um, and blaming everything on that, you know? It's like, oh, well, what she's doing is fine because she's crazy, you know? Like, I don't, I don't like going down that route. But in this case, I think I'm okay with it because she was so young when all this stuff happened. It was... It had to have been traumatic, you know? And it couldn't have been easy. And... You know, she ended up going with these, like, bad people, but she was a good person to begin with. So it's kind of like these two personalities that she had, you know, her good side from a kid, you know, conflicting with being around these evil people that took her in, you know. I feel like it just all, like, meshed in a weird way, and she probably didn't get the support that she needed after everything that happened due to, you know, I'm sure the support in the the group that they're a part of is is not very great but but yeah and it just ate away at her as she got older and ate away at her psyche i imagine and and led her to be the way she is now but uh but i have to say the uh, i already said it once but i want to say it again the artistic style of like showing her insanity of like the cutting away and having, like, the weird faces, like, drawn faces over the, over the other ones and everything, I felt like is incredibly well done, and I, like, I want to see more of that, and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm so into it, is because I think that's a really cool, cool design and cool way to just show what's going on in her mind and, and try to make us understand it, you know, but, but yeah, a big, another big part of this episode to kind of change the subject a little bit was, um, 
the the city of progress now you know we had our we had our time skip jace is you know this big honcho because of his hextech creation they managed to make a gate which allows them to just warp you know to all these other places and increase commerce between all these different cities and everything where they might not have been able to do as much trading before and and everything so he skyrocketed the economy of Piltover and and everything, so that's that's cool and and I mean now he's a now he's made it all the way to counselor. So you know, in the last few episodes, he went from being exiled from the academy to now being a counselor. You know, that's that's pretty crazy, a pretty crazy improvement. Um, I like that Heimerdinger supported. I was really worried with Heimerdinger's facial expressions there. I was really worried he was going to go against it, and it was going to be one of those things where Jace put his research on hold. He didn't reveal it during that, that meeting, or not the meeting, but the uh, the ceremony, the speech that he gave. He didn't reveal the technology that he has created um, because of what Heimerdinger said, and then I was really worried that Heimerdinger was going to go against what she said and, you know go against making Jace a counselor, and then that was going to make Jace feel betrayed, like, you know, like he followed uh, Heimerdinger's footsteps there in, in what he said, and then if Heimerdinger didn't support him in that moment, it would have been a big kick in the face, you know, and I was worried that something like that was going to happen, you know, but it didn't, it didn't end up going that way, and it ended up being, it ended up being fine, he supported it, but some of his facial expressions, like, Made it almost feel like he wasn't gonna, you know, but, but yeah, it's, uh, also Victor's not looking good at all, like, I, like, I wonder, I wonder where, like, I feel like that's gonna be a part of the story, right? I feel like that's one of the reasons why Victor is rushing. I feel like maybe he wants to use this technology to help his own, his own health, maybe, um, and if this... If this technology does go on the back burner for a long time, maybe he doesn't have that much time left to to be able to wait for it, you know? Because I don't know what's wrong with him, but, like, I know he has, like, a... He's had, like, the cane, so he's had, like, a leg issue, you know? Um, it actually looked like one of his legs was mechanical. Um, or if it wasn't mechanical, then it had, like, braces on it to, like, help him walk, maybe. But, uh, but, you know, he had, like, bags under his eyes this episode. I think we saw him coughing at one point. He's always, like, you know, you don't see him standing very long. He's sitting. So I, I do wonder where that's going to lead with, with him and his eagerness and everything, if it will create a divide between um, Jace and Victor, you know. But maybe I'm just seeing things and maybe I'm just looking too into some of these things, you know. But, but yeah, it was a it was a great episode. Seeing Vi at the end was was pretty cool. They they saved her for last. She looks like she's gonna be badass as hell. You know, she's been in this prison, but it looks like she hasn't just let it. Because I was worried, like when they started going towards the prison at the end, and I was like, "Ooh, is this where Vi is?" Because we know that Marcus grabbed her at the very end um, of the last episode. Uh, and I was like, is this where Vi's gonna be? And then I, and then I, like, second thought, I was like, wait, if Vi's been in prison this whole time, then, like, I was hoping that we'd see, like, a, a future Vi who has honed her skills and is, like, you know, super strong and capable and, and everything, but then thinking, like, oh, well, if she's been in a prison cell, she might not have been able to do that, but seems like she's just in there punching walls, you know, so... I have a feeling that she, based off what we saw and and just what I know of her, of course, um, it, like she's gonna come out a badass, uh, which is gonna be pretty cool to see. I can't wait. Um, and we got teased with the gauntlets too when when Jace was showing off using that that new that new uh, stabilized gem. Um, he was able to put it in the gauntlets, and that's the same kind of, like, similar to the, uh, the gauntlets, I believe, that eventually, uh, Vi uses, you know, at least in the video game she uses them. I imagine she will get them at some point in the show, 
Um, it would be interesting if they decided to wait until, like, the end of Season 1 or something. I want to see it sooner because I want to see her using those. I think that would be pretty cool. And Jinx already has her minigun, you know, which I'm pretty sure that's from the game, too. I don't know much about Jinx's moveset in, in the actual game. Um, but I'm pretty, I've seen that minigun before. I've seen, like, art of her holding it, um, like, not, not arcane art. I haven't really seen any arcane art, but just, like, League of Legends art, you know? Um, so, but, so that makes me think that Vi will get it before the end of the season, um, in enough time that we'll get to see her using it a bit, too. At least I hope, so. Uh, but, yeah. Great episode. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more. I'm looking forward to seeing how, like, what how the conversation goes between Caitlyn and Vi, and do they make some kind of deal? Does Caitlyn, like, help her escape or something based off, like, the info? Like, obviously, somehow Vi gets out. I'm just curious how, you know? Um, and I also want to apologize for mixing up during that last episode. Um, or, I mean, during that episode, I should say. Uh, I actually thought it was Vi when the, when the mask got ripped off that pink-haired girl. I actually thought that was Vi. I was just like, oh, okay, they're meeting like this. But then I felt like it was weird. I was like, oh, well, guess Vi's dead, you know? Because she was, like, laying there and, like, that burning shit and, like, not getting up. And I was like, well, wait, what? You know? And I just, I just didn't get a good look at her. Like, it was, so much shit was happening. I was looking at other things and I, I just, I was gonna go back and look, but... It's fine. Um, I felt like the scene went by so quickly I didn't have time to really, like, see her. And I was like, okay, maybe that is what Vi looks like after the time skip, you know? Um, with the briefness that I saw. But, no, it didn't end up being her. They clarified for that for me later. But I was very confused at first. And I apologize for not for not catching on quicker. But, uh... And, and I felt like the reaction of when she was like, Vi? And the girl was like, huh, or whatever? I thought, like... I don't know, I guess I thought it was, like, a reaction that Vi would have had, but anyway. But yeah, great episode, can't wait to see more, guys, I think that's gonna be it from me, hopefully you enjoyed, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you did, uh, check out my Patreon if you wanna see more, uh, I think I will be trying to release these ahead of time on there, so my early access tier will have them available, so check that out, you might be able to see even, usually I try to stay two ahead, um... I don't know what I'll be at by the time this one releases. I might even have the show done and post it on there if you're watching this one on YouTube right now. But we'll see how it goes. So you guys can just check that out. Link is in the description or it should be popping up on the screen. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye bye.